Hello, it's me, French Ted, and I'm a little bit bunged up, so apologise if I don't sound like myself, but I'm all good. We're here. Um, oh, what's happened here? It's disappeared. It's back. Um, based on the title, the thumbnail, and everything else you've seen, um, today we're following on from the how we create our own worker images to how we use AI to generate our titles and other things like that well i say other things titles um so all of these images here are things that have been created purely by my instruction ai and then a tiny little bit of editing uh, so these are all of the llw titles um, that you guys have seen we've got the women's international title from AEW, the world lightweight which i don't really like or light heavyweight which i don't really like anymore and then the all in grand prix trophy um I think this was, yeah, I just asked for a trophy with a globe and then scaled it down. Um, we're going to be following the same picture pack as we always do. So I just thought I'd kick off by showing you what can be done uh, through AI. And then we're just going to jump to all of the steps involved. So hopefully this video isn't going to take too long. I'm not going to do a bunch of examples like I did in the previous how I create. I'm just probably going to do the one example um and you guys can figure it out the links will all be in the description of every tool website etc that i use but just for starters this is the picture pack i use the super awesome modern picture pack by good old joe murphy it's the cleanest one there's the jpeg or jpg version and then there's a gif version with the banners i don't use the gif version um i imagine it works the same when it comes to editing because there's a, a psd file that you use so if you download the full one either one of these um, you get a blank template for workers, banners, um, titles, etc. Um, I've already uploaded that into my free AI tool that I use, which is uh, Pixlr. Um, this as well I'll, I'll put in, obviously you're not logged in as me. Um, um, but we will go here. These are my recently used. There's the one that I use for workers. And this is the one that we use for titles. So it's just a simple 200 by 100 pixel background. Um, and then it is a border which is 20 pixels across the edge so if you don't have access to this and you just want to create your own it's that simple 200 by 100 white rectangle with a black border on the top of the new layer and then the um, image will be kind of between the two there but let's just uh, delete that cool so that's basically it but how do we get the picture so this is what I use and I've always used. Um, it is good old Bing Boop AI. Um, the most simplest one ever is accessible to everyone. You just have to go to bing.com and then you press the chat function. Uh, there's three conversation styles. Um, I've never really tried the other ones, but I always go creative because we're creating something. Um, and then you basically just ask it to create you. So um, create me a wrestling belt so you can be as generic as that uh, so what we'll do is we'll just do that for now um, and just see what pops up but obviously if you've got a theme for your belt or you have um, a vision in your head of what you want it to look like then of course oh, why is it taking so long I can try to create a there we go it's speeding up a little bit now um, but yeah, while it figures itself out, sometimes it can take longer than usual. Um, yeah, so for example, with the London Zone belt, which recently debuted on the LLW series, I basically just asked for it to have a British slash London theme. Um, after about two or three, you know, retries, I, it came up with that one and I was like, perfect. Um, and I'm, I was hoping that this would happen. So as you can see here, it's basically created three WWE belts and a fourth one that doesn't have the WWE belt. Um, to be fair, that fourth one's pretty lit. Um, I don't know what that says, but that looks pretty cool. But this is the issue that I found, first of all. So what you have to do is you have to specify. So the reason why I did this was because I knew it would come up with a WWE logo. Because when AI looks up wrestling belts, it's obviously going to pick the most popular company. So... What we will do is, can you create me a wrestling belt? And I think we should, um, let's do like a hardcore belt. So a wrestling belt with 
barbed wire on it and um i have no idea flames on the side let's just try that because why not um you know there hasn't been a hardcore belt in a while for most promotions really so let's see what they can do so here's their attempt um you can also get really specific with it so that was quite vague you can say specific things you want on there you can sometimes say oh, i want it to say this although that sometimes messes with bing you can choose the color of the strap so for the princess title i wanted it white so we got a white one i feel like i'm getting more bunged up as i talk but that's fine see these are a bit extreme although this one could probably work so click on it we can open it up um i don't like the angle of it you can customize but that customization isn't the best so what we can do is we kind of liked some of these um, I think the flames were a bit much. So let's copy and paste this again. Um, crossing belt with barbed wire on it. And um, I'm trying to think. Barbed wire on it and create me a gold wrestling belt with a white strap. Let's just try that. So it'd be a gold wrestling belt, barbed wire, white strap. Let's see how that looks. Um, usually I like it when they're front facing like this because then we can play around with that. But sometimes you will get a diagonal. But the thing is though, if we ask this again, it would come up with four different designs. So sometimes you could be like, oh, I kind of like these, but they're not really facing the right way. You just do it again and again and again. Um, basically what I'm getting at is it's just trial and error. Here, there we go. They throw the WWE logo on there again, which is kind of annoying, although, that's that's kind of cool um annoyingly i mean is that that's not meant to be a cannabis leaf is it <laughs> um i wish that was like on there a little bit obviously if people have got photoshop skills they can like pick that up drag it in a bit more um you can do that so i quite like this so let's um can we have wait can i have an eagle in the center of the wrestling belt and the barbed wire barbed wire on the belt so let's see if it will add to that design now sometimes it doesn't sometimes it wants to be a prick and just start a fresh new one but let's see um but again it, uh, as i've said like six times now trial and error trial and error and error none of the belts that i previously had were done on the first attempt um the king's one i was like a regal belt and it just had diamonds and stuff so yeah so the barbed wire again isn't really on it but that that's pretty fresh i don't know what the hell that says but there we go look at that that is awesome so i'm gonna download that which i have it's just come up here in the corner we're now going to jump to our background remover, drag it on. Again, I'll link all of these in the description. It's removed the background, perfect. Yeah, so remember to edit that out. And then we re-download it, standard resolution, because it's gonna be a tiny pixel thing, so it doesn't matter. Again, it's saved here. Because I use Bing, it sits there. Google Chrome, I think, sits at the bottom. Open up your pixel at all with this ready to go. Drag it on. Remember to create a new layer. Oh no, not no, done that wrong. Let's close. <laughs> Remember to add a layer, not create a new layer. And there we go. Make sure it's in between. You want to zoom out a bit. And then we're just going to drag it. Oh, I've already messed it up. I'm just going to drag it to size. Um, it might be a little bit blurry. Let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, it is a little bit blurry. It's also quite tall. Can we all widen it a little bit? AI tools liquefy, liquefy, oh, enlarge, push. Wow, I shouldn't be doing this live, sorry guys. Um, let's remove the image, hold on, arrange. Let's drag it back on just so <laughs> I'm not messing with it too much. But yeah, let's just uh, pull this in just to get it to fit to begin with we'll zoom in a little bit let's have the belt just touching the edges and then something like that 
arrangement looks pretty good um because you know you've got the belt the belt we've missed out the dodgy writing we've got the eagle and the barbed wire i quite like that and then we are just going to go to adjust auto just to see what it does um and then i just like to sharpen it a little bit and yeah where's the border gone what's happened to the border i've lost the border hmm one moment okay we're back uh the border was just hidden for some reason i'd accidentally dragged the border over here um, but it's back now there we go 100 percent. because why not save and we'll call this um the um i mean i'm gonna be putting it into spanish alina's promotion just because why not uh so let's call this the fmb high flying hardcore championship sure file save cool now if we just jump to here uh, we can just delete the things that we saved unless you want to keep them but there it is and to be fair it's in quite nicely obviously it's not as clean as this or this or this or this really i mean i'm very proud of those the knight's title i for some reason i had it in my head that the belts for tag team belts were double layered i think that was in an old tw that people used to do that um so i double layered the knight's belts turns out they don't do that anymore but anyways we've got the fmb high flying hardcore and uh, we've got the belts tab here where all the belts are um yeah most of them you can see they're diagonal that way it doesn't really matter to be honest um you know i've got them facing each different way let's just copy it and paste it and i think it's pasted in sure and now we're gonna jump to tew um and just add the belt and see how it looks simple as that i'll see you guys in a sec okay so we are here in tw in spanish Lina's mod um in her save don't worry i'm not touching or changing anything so if you're listening spanish Lina, do not worry my darling it's all unchanged proof is here there's been one show it was the big bitch bra big bitch brawl that's a hard thing to say um that she did for our subscriber special but we're just going to jump to titles um again these were all made by ai as well of course we wanted them to be a bit more cartoony so you can throw that in but like the bad boy belt is pretty lit um she said that she wanted a one with a devil on it this one we literally searched bad bitch that came up so yeah and then the big titty tag team we just asked for well actually sometimes you can't ask for rude things ai was like i'm not doing that so we just said um gold woman trophy and it was like we can't do things rude and then it came up with this and we just mirrored it and then the deathmatch title which was pretty cool skull there's roses yeah great anyways uh we are going to create a title and it was the fight me bitch uh high flying hardcore uh, be a singles belt yet yeah, for any gender let's go maximum weight would be lightweight um secondary sure function high flying oh but also hardcore we'll just go normal brand doesn't matter blah 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 blah, blah. and it should be in here and there it is the high flying hardcore boom added looks clean as hell save and there we go title created and to be fair doesn't stand out too much looks pretty lit um yeah that's pretty much all you need to do yeah i mean simple as uh you just follow the exact same formula as you kind of did with the worker images um but in this sense we're just having a back and forth with good old bing ai i'm sure there are other there are other ai tools but the bing ai one to me is the most straightforward it's super easy to use and nine times out of ten it does actually remember your search history uh, so if you do do a bunch and then you forget a bit, you go you go away, you come back, there normally is a tab on the right-hand column that says, like, recent chats, and you can just click back through it, and it will be sat there waiting for you, any pictures that it has generated. So, yeah, that's it. It's super easy. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing um, what success you guys have with it. If you do create any baller looking titles please do let me know and share with share it with me however you can i've got an instagram it's in the bio so if you want to drop me a line dm me uh whatever or if you've got any questions as well you know hit me up 
uh, hit me up in the comment section first i replied to everyone but if all else fails instagram is there uh but yeah that's it super simple hope you enjoyed it please like comment subscribe share and i'll see you all in the next one